Well, hello folks, and welcome back to The Sims. I am going to do something that I probably should have done a while ago. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Somebody just got something that was good. <laughs> That's all I know that that sound effect means. Uh, what I need to do is place... I think some cafe wall speakers? They are what I'm thinking of. That way, well, resident, I guess it doesn't matter which wall speakers they are. But that way I should be able to hear the music all around the house. Place that one there. And not only will I get a mood boost from it, but I think my Sims will too. Even though maybe not in the bedroom. I'm going to hope that this that these speakers don't piss the neighbors off, but I guess it doesn't matter. And I don't even know. Let's see, turn on. And they're all gonna be different electronica songs. Wonderful. I was hoping that they would all be synced up, but I guess there's no way to do that. Upgrade. Super reception. What does that do? Don't know. Need level 9 for it, though. So I'll turn this one on to blues. Blues in that part of the house. Electronica over here. And, you know what? We'll actually put this one in our parents' room. Why not? Just because we'll have music on this side of the house. Hopefully it doesn't wake them up. And this will be set to jazz. For now. <laughs> Did that speaker wake them up? They're still tense from the fire. From watching a man burn to death. Hamilton doesn't care. Repaired something and hurt himself. He made a new friend at some point. Fr oh, he made death as a friend. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. I'd almost forgot about that between videos. Hamilton has an interesting life. That is a microwave pastry? I was thinking like a Pop-Tart or something. She says, fuck that, I don't want to eat a pastry, I actually want a turkey dinner. And what about you, Hamilton? You're going to make some blue moon ice cream. Is that going to be alcoholic? You better add a little bit of orange to it. I think he is. I think he is making an alcoholic one. I don't know if I would ever want to make an ice cream out of blue moon. And man, I think using fire to burn someone alive really used up our magical connection. Hamilton has made a carton of Blue Moon ice cream. Got our trusty camera. Our dance floor for skilling up. A couple of emotion potions. Got the old stink potion that I don't know if I'll ever use in the freezer bunny snow globe. I guess that gives us two of them. Who is crying? I hear somebody crying. Okay. Well, we... We can't put the ice cream... In the fridge? I assume it would have a freezer, but you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, Mom. Finish your painting. Dad. Quit being tense. Go take a bath. But not just a bath. Oh. You're no longer tense. Hamilton. 
What's wrong? What do you want? Don't make me throw you off the table. What, you're sad because nobody plays with you? Well, that's your damn fault. You're not exactly the friendliest cat, you know. You want food. Tiger is hungry. Is somebody eating your food? We'll set it to every three hours. How about that? Work starts for everyone in about an hour. <sighs> Hamilton. What do I even want to do? Do I want to go to work with Hamilton? Do I want to just send him on his own? So maybe he can gain some performance? Mom can now create high skill pop art, medium skill surrealism, and medium skill impressionistic painting. Wonderful. You are a treasure to the world, Mom. An absolute treasure to the world. Hmm. She's hungry. Hamilton isn't. Let's see if we can fix his magical. Connection gauge. I really just need to call it his mana. Let's see if we can fix his mana. Are you gonna have pathing issues because you're got your dick in the wall right now, Hamilton? I mean, this would be beneficial to both of you. Uh, but duty calls. I'm gonna join him. It's tempting to send him alone, but I I just can't yet. I hope everyone else can take care of themselves, and Hamilton will have to drain magic from somewhere else. I wonder if there ever comes a point where I don't even need to, like, regenerate my mana. I become so powerful it recharges on its own. Hamilton is off to work. And he's slightly hungry. Because he gave his breakfast away. So, pastry time. Playing chess, huh? I wish we could play chess and eat our pastry at the same time. I guess it's time to get a new case. Eat your food, Hamilton, and then come down and get a case file. It's Saturday and crime is skyrocketing. The kids are out of school. Which means they're creating double the crime. We're up to almost $16,000. I really need to find something to spend my money on. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Hello, Chief. What's the good word this morning? It's good to see you back in uniform. By the way. What are you searching, I wonder? Is that a turkey? And a sports car? And a horse. The guy. Celebrities, maybe? I see a camel. Please look forward to the Egyptian update. The Egyptian expansion pack, where you can ride camels and go explore the pyramids. And fight mummies! Only $39.99. Okay, we'll get a case file, and then we're going to cross-reference a whole whopping two pieces of evidence. All of the evidence we built up from the last case is inadmissible in this one. Except for these two pieces that we got from the last suspect we interrogated. Start the case map. Can I get clues without building a case map, or am I just wasting my time? I think I'm just wasting my time. Audition passed. Well, aren't you a surprise, Roland? Good job, Dad. Now, don't fuck up this next gig. You need to do your stuff, whatever it is you do. Okay. 
So what do we got? Maybe I do have some clues I can add. Targeted harassment, maybe? This definitely looks like a targeted harassment case. A young adult is the suspect so far. So are these the vehicles they vandalized, or the ones they were seen getting away in? A young adult male with multiple accomplices that we've already captured. We arrested, let me speak to your manager lady. Mary Sue and Sideways Jesus there. So the suspect is also wearing a long sleeve shirt. We need to go to the crime scene. This is not enough evidence to go by. I need to go there on my own. I see this evidence for myself. Just what are we dealing with? Where did they strike? Okay. Go search for clues there. There's the usual suspects of burn marks all over the place. Did lightning get called down through the roof? I've seen burn marks like this before when gnomes attacked my own personal family. Tried to strike us with lightning. I'm curious, did you guys piss off any gnomes for the holidays? Mr. Stompy? There's a shoe. And some hair. Okay. Who are you? Junior Emery. Creepy goatee man. Okay, nothing there. And who are you? Kayla Fleming. A witness. A rising star. Excuse me, ma'am. Is this your shoe? They lost both their shoes. The suspect did. Kayla didn't provide much information. Well, isn't that unfortunate? What about you? Max Villarreal, part of the Renegades. <laughs> Princess, taken witness reports as well. Officer. She looks over his shoulder at us and says, Detective. In a gruff voice, just like that. What type of evil fucking stuffed animal is that? Baracula? Is this a vampire house? Did a vampire come in? Do something to this place with gnomes? There's fucking garlic up here. Garlic wreath. Makes me think there'll be something hidden behind it. What is this, a blood sample? This was a vampire attack. These guys aren't telling us very much, but I have a suspicion that they're... Uh, vampire hunters. Possible that they're vampires. Uh, let me see. What what do you do for a living, Kayla? I know you're a rising star. Trying to get a good look at her teeth. I don't see any pointy teeth. She is snarling. She's angry. She's like, I'm famous, and I'm surrounded by plebeians. Kayla is a personal trainer at the other sports team. Okay. Okay, we're getting, we're getting out of here. Vampires attacked this place. With gnomes? 
Come on, guys. Gotta piece it together. Burn marks from the lightning, which seems to be a gnome spell. They deal more with the elements, the forces of nature. Got vampires. Those people had a garlic wreath in their house, which vampires would not have, especially in the top of their house. So the garlic fumes can float down through the rest of the building. Maybe the gnomes were giving the vampires protection from the garlic somehow? Hamilton's not really sure, but he needs to cross-reference some of this information before adding it to the board. This might be a long day. We've got a lot of clues to add. And it is more or less Friday, so... Let's add our clues. It's Saturday, but it's Hamilton's Friday. And he's looking forward to a promotion. Even though he knows he's not going to get it today. Unless we got really lucky and solved this case, then maybe. The suspect is evil. Okay, we're going to issue an APB. If we can arrest him quick enough... They're evil. That's... I mean, we've kind of got enough information. All I need is one trait. Now, if I bump into multiple suspects who have the evil trait, I'll definitely be screwed. Because clothing is no reliable descriptor to go by. Okay, well, I'm guessing that none of you are vampires. It's Paul Blart! Something tells me you're not going to be evil. Joshua Black. Uh, let's just do a polite introduction to both of them. Get back here, Blart. <laughs> that guy is instantly evil. Wonderful. I love being observant. What the hell is this place, though? It's like some lush jungle oas oasis. With creepy guards. There's no, um... Sims 3 had the adventures, I think, where you could go through dungeons and crypts and stuff. This doesn't have anything like that, as far as I know. Let's go interrogate Paul Blart, see if he's evil. I doubt it. This guy might be evil. Donnie Gordon, huh? Come out here, Donnie. Detective Hamilton here. Got a couple questions for you and your buddies. Blart, you can step inside too, if you want. So, so. He is a kleptomaniac, evil, and clumsy. Well, fuck. Blart, I swear, if you're evil, I might need you to help me with this case. Blart is good, a goofball, and a foodie. Okay. So what color hair did they have? Young adult, male, long sleeve shirt. Young adult, young adult. Long sleeve shirt? Long sleeve shirt. It's got to be you, Mr. Gordon. We're going to, uh... A citizen might be able to provide information about the whereabouts of your suspect. We'll ask all of them the location of the suspect, and then we're going to arrest his ass. Have you guys seen an evil criminal mastermind? Nope. What about you, Blart? What does your gut tell you? You think anyone in this room is the criminal? You think it's him? Stupish indeed, huh? Him? Well, what do you think? It's, it's two against one so far, buddy. Yes. Baramis, Tenku, Vernoy. We're kind of at a standoff here. Why can I not get an answer from the guy I'm talking to right here? I'm not talking to you. You've got to be the suspect. I'm going to arrest your ass here in a second. Stop talking to everyone, Hamilton. 
If we have to rip Joshua Black up out of his chair to ask him about who he thinks the suspect is, I'm half tempted to arrest him just on principle. Hamilton's work will end in one hour. Not today it doesn't. And good, my mouse is flickering super crazy. Sometimes it flickers while recording, sometimes it doesn't. Him? Ha <laughs> ha! You think so too, Hamilton, huh? Got the magic fingers out. Hamilton's looking at him like, Donnie, come on. Do you know who you're messing with here? You're messing with the Hamilton. And you are the only one with the long sleeve shirt on. Ha! Huh. Suck it, Blart. That's why you're a third rate mall cop. If I ever see you in the precinct, I'll arrest you myself, Blart. You stay here in the jungle hunting mosquitoes, getting your blood sucked. Hamilton is still dazed. Hmm. We don't have time to worry about that. We have to get this interrogation done. I want my promotion today. And if we don't get this done by the time we leave, I'm pretty sure he will be gone tomorrow. Mickey Ellison. What are you, a hot cop? A fake cop, maybe? A civilian. She wants to be a cop, though. The receptionist is like, listen here, young lady. Halloween is not for another two seasons, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, Donnie. Got a lot of questions for you and not a whole lot of time. But we do have a ton of evidence against you. Win witness statements. We'll review the case file. We're going to throw in some of the bad cop routine. Ask for a bribe. Tell him a story about prison. You know what happens to one-star guys like you in prison, Donnie? And we've got your fingerprint. Donnie is happy. You're a young adult now, Donnie. You're not a teen anymore. And even though your record might have been sealed, I got a chance to look at it. I can make some of that come back. Unless you just tell us what we want to know. Who are you working for? Just tell us which one of these people it is. Which one? That one? Wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted to know. I think we'll get our testimony now. Our confession. And we'll have... We'll, we'll still have enough time to go talk to the chief, I think. You'll notice my mood did not go up. I probably should have spent the entire day just talking with co-workers. Hamilton's gotta take a piss real bad. We'll lock that guy up, and then we... Gonna go unlock our bladder. Case closed. Another criminal down. Hamilton always gets his man or woman. Come on, Hamilton. Can't even run. He has to tiptoe there. I love it. Now. Talk to the chief. We'll see if we can get a talk off before uh, we go home. Come on, Hamilton, shake it quicker. He's like, I can't shake it any quicker. I'm dizzy. I'm about rip my dick off. Damn. We got a vacation day, which is good. <laughs> I like how it didn't transport us home. 
Because we were talking to the chief, we've never stayed this late at work before. It's eerie. Seriously though, Hamilton, can you go home? Do you even know how to go home? Apparently no. What do you mean a sim is dying? Who is dying? No, Moses Houlihan! That's why Hamilton couldn't go home. It's the fucking Reaper again. Moses died on the job. Plead for Moses. I don't think we're going to plead for Moses. We don't like Moses that much. I, I do want to do something, though. I don't know how to do it. Take take selfie. <laughs> I, 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 I want to turn myself around and take a selfie with death. I've even got duck face. How horrible. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Take dear old Moses. He can go with you. Is the urn going to stay there forever? We're going to have another ghost cop joining us? Moses Houlihan. Man, that's the second cop that we've watched die. I guess, I guess, to be fair, we did not watch um, a main die. We just got notified that she died. There's actually some leftovers. Fuck off, cat. Wish you'd get off the damn table. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Mom's painting is worth $344. Hmm. Whenever we come back, uh, Hamilton will continue his day. It's the weekend now. Maybe we can go on a date with Elsa. I think we both have the weekend off. Yep. So we can go do something. Hell, maybe we'll even go camping. Maybe just the two of us or something. Get away from everyone. We haven't actually done anything together, and we never really went on a honeymoon, so... Uh, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll make some plans this weekend.